Okay. Now you heard me. Can you see me now? Can everyone see the screen? Someone just type in and let me know it's all set and then we'll be uh, on our way. Awesome. All right. Good stuff. All right. Again, thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. I know, you know, everyone's busy these days. So uh, being able to get some time with you, even via webinar, is really precious and I really do appreciate it. Um, let's talk Eagle Rider. My name's Kylie Kay. Um, I am the country representative for Eagle Rider in Australia and New Zealand and shouldn't have managing director here. I'm actually managing director of APTMS, uh, which is a representation company. We represent uh, a number of brands, but I'm your key contact in the market, in our markets, Australia and New Zealand for, uh, for Eagle Rider. Um, however, in New Zealand, we've got the lovely Gay Wood um, and her details will be at the end as well. And she, she can um, certainly be a local contact for our friends across the pond. As I said, Managing Director of Asia Pacific Travel Marketing Services, um, company been, that's been around for more than 30 years. And um, you can see here some of the brands that we represent. So happy to answer any questions on any brands really, but we're gonna focus on Eagle Rider today. Eagle Rider is, it says the 25th anniversary badge up there, but it's actually um, started in 1992. So um, it's actually 26 years old this year. Um, and it was just four friends that got together, actually three friends, I should say, with four bikes. They got together and said, how cool would it be if, um, you know, we could um, share that that dream, that thing that we love to do with others. And they put an ad in the paper and um, some Germans responded to it and they rolled out their new Harleys that they kept in one of their own, you know, their home's garage. And um, the guys that came back, the stories that you hear about um, these, these German guys that rode across America and came back and just had tears in their eyes about the experience that they had and you know fulfilling that dream that they'd had and uh yeah it's just an amazing story and um we're, you know 26 years down the track it just keeps getting bigger and bigger we've got um we've gone from in the last two years sort of 50 locations to over 150 locations down the bottom you can see the international locations that we have and last year we developed a partnership with harley davidson and that partnership really has seen um our our stamp throughout America in particular, just grow and grow and grow. So there's really nowhere where in terms of key gateways that the Australian New Zealand traveller is going that isn't going to be able to service their needs for um, rentals, tours, etc. We always say, you know, um, our programs are for riders, by riders. So we've got riders that are creating the new tours and architecting those new tours all the time. Um, it's the riders that check you out when you pick up the bike. Um, the people that are answering the phone, they're riders. Um, and also, you know, the, the managers of the locations, obviously, whether they're Eagle Rider corporate locations or Harley Davidson in partnership with Eagle Rider, they're all riders. So they know exactly what they're talking about um, to make sure that you've got that authentic and um, the experience that you're looking for. Now, which bike do you choose? We've got several um, classes of bikes. You've got your touring class, your street class, your classic uh, class and your three wheel class. When you book, you'll book within a class and you'll get one of those, um, whichever bike uh, is available, I guess, within that class. You can actually um, uh, get a guaranteed bike as well. We'll talk more about that later. So our products, we've got um, bike only, bike and hotel, um, group travel, self-drive and guided tours. So group travel is the new one this year um, and we'll go through each of those uh, in a little bit more detail. So motorcycle rentals, I want to focus a little bit on this one today um, for sort of short or day rides. Um, you can also do one way um, rentals as well. But, um, you know, something that we've done, recently done a consumer show and there was an overwhelming response when we asked consumers were they aware that they could do rentals as opposed to just the touring, which is always what seems to be advertised. You know, the overwhelming response was, no, I didn't realise that I could even do rentals. And then when we say how, you know, how large our network is throughout America, for instance, um, and that we've also got a network in Australia, in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Cairns, um, you know, they, they didn't realise. And, you know, we've, we've done some calculations. Basically, statistically, we know that around one in 10 Australians that holds a car licence holds a bike licence. And so we know also that from our Australian and New Zealand markets, there's nearly 1.4 million people going to America alone. 
So statistically, we, we, we estimate there's about 140,000 uh, bike riders traveling to America, of which most of them don't know that they can just rent a bike. Now, we know that they're going 22 days on average. These are brand new USA statistics, by the way. Um, we know that they're going to at least two states and at least three cities. Um, some might say four, but let's say it's three cities. Even if they only picked up one day rental in each city, that's three one day rentals that you're missing out on um, that is increment, incremental income. You're also supplying something that, you know, bike riders, um, car drivers drive a car usually um, just to get, you know, point A to point B. Bike riders, you know, the experience is being on the bike. It's not about getting from point A to point B at all. It's about being on the bike and it's it's a hobby and it's a, a passion. And and um, you know you're, you're adding to the your client's itinerary um, just by providing those one-day rentals. Particularly, even we know about 350,000 people out of our markets are going to Vegas now. Even if you only push Vegas and say, do you want a you know two-day bike rental while you're there because you're going to be doing a lot at night and not much during the day except sitting by the pool? Um, you, you know, th within 45 minutes you've got Red Rock Canyon ride, you've got Valley of Fire. A little over an hour you can get to Death Valley. There's all these spectacular and iconic rides you can provide your clients um, just just um, you know as incremental. And so you know that that's commission that you're missing out on by not supplying that. And all that we're starting to do now is educate educate agents um, and try and encourage um, everybody to just ask when you're preparing a, an itinerary for your client, just ask, do you ride a bike? And if you ask that question, you know, one in five of your bookings, if there's two, two on average per booking, are, are likely to say, actually, yeah, I do have a license. Have you thought about throwing in some rental days? And if we can get that message across, and we certainly are trying, we've got somebody now on the road, Amanda McCoy from our office, that's going and knocking on doors of travel agents. So if you're a travel agent, you'll see her soon, hopefully. She's knocking on doors, just encouraging people to rent a bike um, or, or encourage your clients to rent a bike. Uh, a day, two days. If you can get two days in three different cities, you've got six days incremental. Um, on average, 100, 120 odd a day. You've added 720 bucks to the itinerary, but you've added so much more to the dream. Um, these guys are really, um, they, A, it sort of takes away that mystique that people feel when um, when they're considering doing the ultimate, which is the guided tour. You know, it's sort of, some people might say, oh, you know, I'm not sure, riding on the other side of the road, etc. But if they've already had a little flavour for it with this itinerary, then in a couple of years they might come back and do a full tour. And that's, uh, you know, obviously very lucrative as well. So I'm not going to keep rambling on about, um, you know, motorcycle rentals, but I really think that there's an untapped market that we can all enjoy um, and provide riders these ultimate experiences. Additional services that we can provide um, is hotel pickup. Um, we can give you saddlebags, windscreens, jacket, helmet, GPS. Um, we can store your luggage at the pickup location for you for the day if you need. Um, we can also um, send that luggage on to another point if you need. 24-hour uh, roadside assistant, unlimited mileage, and as I mentioned before, you can pay a little extra for a, a particular model guarantee within any class. Um, with the bike and hotel packages, we've got two um, two packages. One, the economy package. The other is the upgraded package. Economy package is 195 bucks a day, um, and uh, you can see the brands on this screen: Days Inn, Econo Lodge, etc. Um, for that package, and then you've got the upgraded package, which is just a little bit um, more uh, upgraded in terms of the accommodation style. Pretty good pricing, though, for uh, you know bike and tours, self-drive tours. These are for, um, you know, they're a little bit more um, designed by, again, by riders, for riders. We craft these routes and we put them into a GPS to make it a little bit easier. Um, you get the bike and hotel. You also get a road book, which you can see on the screen to the right there. Beautiful leather bound road book with some maps and um, uh, the GPS unit, as I mentioned. Group travel, um, for groups of five bikes or more. So if you've got uh, a bunch of friends, um, you might your clients might be, you know, in, in a, a hog group, for instance, and might want to organise a tour themselves, don't necessarily need the um, tour guide because, uh, uh, you know, they're all fairly well-versed or 
you know, where they want to go is not necessarily on the program for guided tours with Eagle Rider and they've got their own ideas in mind. That's cool. You'll still get a chase van, which carries everybody's luggage. Um, so at each stop, they uh, can offload and um, enjoy that particular destination each day. Um, if you need assistance, you can call that support driver. Um, and it's really a great way to take your buddies and just go and explore um, on your own timeline in your own way. Then there's the guided tours and everybody we talk to when we're at consumer shows, et cetera, are just like, you know, that's the pinnacle. That's what I'm aiming for, um, that Route 66 tour, for instance, or whatever their desires might be. What's so special about it? Well, for one, we're allowed um, to go on some roads that you can't actually access yourself. Um, so only if you're on a guided tour can you get some access to some of those um, awesome um, destinations and attractions. Um, we, it's all, as I said, carefully planned and, and architected. Um, it's, it's sort of revamped every year. They look at, all right, did we do this well? Did we allow enough time here? Is this the right stop? Um, et cetera, et cetera. So you know that um, always, we're always trying to improve it. It's always being looked at. And I guess the other thing is, if you do the bike and hotel, for instance, and with your buddies or the group travel, sorry, with your buddies, um, you know, you're going with your buddies, you're not really making new friends as such. Um, on, a, on a guided tour, you, you're getting to um, experience that whole social thing. We have these, these brand pillars at e Rider. We call it the razzle, um, reassuring, authentic, social and liberating. And really, you know, that's, that's the ultimate within the guided tour. It's, it's reassuring because you've got the experience of the people that have walked straight at this tour and the guide that you've got out the front. Um, you know, but the social part is just um, meeting new friends for life, you know, from all walks of Earth, you know, they're not necessarily all Australians, they'll be from all over the place. So that social part is really um, epic. And then you've got your tour guides, as I mentioned, they're really experienced, they make the experience outstanding and they're all really cool people, really enjoyable. I won't go through all of these, um, these bits on the ways to travel and what you get with each of the products. Um, we will send an email out with our contact details after this and um, we will definitely um, take any questions at the end or I can answer questions um, on uh, later on. I can see actually now that I'm looking at the questions, Janelle has asked, can two people be on the one bike? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, there's a different price for two people versus one person on the bike. Um, we can run through that uh, with you separately if you, if you want. I'm happy to make contact with you. Um, I can see uh, Yolanda has asked, is the pricing NZD? Um, if you book through Eagle Rider Direct, um, it'll be in USD. If you book through uh, a wholesaler in New Zealand, and we'll go through a list of wholesalers, I think in New Zealand we've got definitely Go Holidays, um, Infinity, Driveaway, they do sell it in NZD, so um, maybe book through them. Um, I'm just looking, I think that's, how many people on a guided tour? It all depends, but at least eight bikes, um, Karen. And I think that's it for the questions at the moment. I'll keep looking um, as we go on. Are the prices quoted for bike hotel packages in AUD? Same thing. If you want AUD, you can get it through any of those wholesalers, Infinity, Hello World, uh, Qantas Holidays, I should say, in Australia, and um, and Drive Away. You can book through us if you prefer, um, or you can um, go to Eagle Rider Direct for in USD. Um, other questions are, are there minimum numbers for the tours? To depart, yes, there are, and it would depend on the tour, but yes, there are. Having said that, I mean, most of the tours get away. Um, uh, Tanya, I hope that answers your question. Oh, the questions are coming in hard and fast. Viv, how are you going, Viv? Um, is there any 2018 um, soft towers on fleet in the USA? There will be, I'm not, um, and it is really um, uh, depot dependent as well. So the answer is yes. Whether or not it's at the particular um, depot that you want will depend. Um, you, you're highly likely to be able to get them at the major uh, depots, such as you know the corporate locations, LA or Vegas or what have you. Um, uh, but you know it's it's really um, it is dependent. What level of experience um, is needed? Well, uh, Yolanda, essentially, I think we'll get into that when we start talking about insurance. 
So um, essentially, I would not recommend that um, anybody rides a bike, for instance, that they can't ride at home or don't ride at home, or definitely that they're not licensed for at home. You won't be insured. Um, but, uh, you know, again, this comes down to why I think um, the rental thing is so untouched and so important that we're selling rentals, because you do need to kind of feel comfortable. We're riding on the other side of the road. Um, we're in a different country. Um, having a day's rental, two days rental here and there will certainly um, build up the, the confidence. Um, and the people that are on these, you know, we don't, we don't restrict as such, but you do have to have a certain level of confidence, I'll say. Um, Karen, the price you said 195 for economy bike hotel package, is that USD? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, not a question. Um, Driveway told me they long, no longer sell these tours. That was about six weeks ago. Yes, so I'm meeting with Driveway. Watch this space. We, we are bringing it all back. They just hadn't loaded some of it. So uh, watch this space. They are bringing it back. They're coming to meet me in my office next week. Um, are some of the tours guaranteed departures? Yes, they are, Tanya. And... Um, Julie came in late, but can we guarantee a Harley? Yes, you can. <laughs> uh, the fleet is predominantly Harley now. Um, whether we can guarantee the exact model that they want, um, certainly we can guarantee the class type um, and uh, whether we can guarantee the model. There is a, you, you can pay a guaranteed model fee um, to guarantee the model. Um, where can we find your USA packages? I'll give you some details on that at the end. And um, Viv, yeah, happy to talk to you later. Uh, when is the best time for travel? Well, nobody wants to ride a motorbike on snow, so I would say probably avoid October to uh, February for, you know, some of the Route 66. We, we generally look at it um, April to October is best. But then we've got tours down to Baja, for instance. Now, Baja is awesome over the summer. So, um, you know, there's there are year-round uh, packages and, and tours that we can provide. Um, someone's talking about, I'd like to advertise on social media. Do you have images and logos I can use alongside? Um, yes, all that. I'll provide some details on that at the end. Um, we have custom flyers that we can customise with your call to action. Um, uh, Cheeky question, can a travel agent do a discount ride to sell products in the future? Yes, we can. Um, well, I think it's at net, a net rate, um, and you can certainly uh, book that through Eagle Ride or through us. Um, what's this? Um, oh, we've got one of our specialists saying that they recommend um, their tour members to take a bike refresher course before they do one of the tours, and that's a great idea. And I think, yeah, very on the on the longer tours, you, you're riding with you know experienced riders. You don't want to kind of be the one that keeps them, you know, slows them down for want of a better word. Um, what is an agent's commission? Depends on who you book through. I think through driver, and it also depends on the product. We'll talk about that a little later as well. Oh God, got through all those questions. I'm going to move on. Um, we'll do more questions at the end if that's all right, guys. <clears throat> I'll take a breath too. Goodness. Insurance, explain. <laughs> I don't know about if, if we can explain it in just one slide. I mean, insurance is so important and, and people need to really get it right. Um, it's it's just one of those um, one of those things that gets not not understood, I guess, is, is the right way to say it. Um, you know, for additional coverage and peace of mind, Eagle Rider will offer theft and damage waivers, known as the VIP protection on the left. Um, we've also got supplementary liability insurance or SLI. Um, and I guess without this coverage, the clients are responsible for the full retail value of the bike in the event of damage or theft. So really important, I think, that we get both of those. And also travel insurance. Um, there's a few key points here. Some... Um, um, uh, just check who the travel insurance that you're selling for your clients. Um, you know, it's imperative when you're riding a motorcycle overseas that they have the insurance. It's imperative that they don't ride a bike beyond what they're able or legally able to ride here. They will null and void their insurance. Um, as I found out when we went to 
uh, Thailand and my partner who couldn't ride decided to learn to ride a moped and um, it's important yeah that uh, you check the insurance that you're selling your client because some of them have a cap so some insurers will limit um, the bike that they will insure that traveler for up to 200 cc's for instance so there's a few things that really need to be checked this end as well as buying that um, VIP and SLI assurance that we, we we offer. New product for 2019 is the mobile tour guide. So this one's an app that gives you your daily itinerary and it also shows you um, some awesome places that um, drive away, um, that's the Eagle Rider pick. Sorry, I've got driver on the mind now that I'm looking at these questions on the right. Um, Eagle Rider have picked um, for a flat rate of 60 bucks a day. We've also got a new tour in 2019 the triple b tour blue ridge blues and barbecue three versions of that one so the 14 day 13 night one goes all the way from washington dc to new orleans via nashville memphis etc which is awesome we got the eight day seven night nashville to new orleans um just shorter uh that's a great one for particularly out of the new zealand market there's so many you know you've got we've, we've got these flights into houston and dallas now um so that's that one's really awesome and then the seven day six night Washington DC to Nashville, which is also goes through some amazing scenery. Here we get to how to book. Now I, sh I could list all the wholesalers here, but I'll tell you again, obviously Infinity, um, both in Australia and New Zealand. Um, in New Zealand, we've got Go Holidays and in Australia, Qantas Holidays, Driveway Holidays, which I know um, have um, not loaded them at the moment, but will watch this space coming days slash weeks. Um, and a number of other specialists that you can ride with as well. So um, you can also book through eagerwriter.com um, and or contact us here in this office at eagerwriter at aptms.com.au. There's also our phone number on the screen. Again, my details, take that down, but you'll get an email from us, hopefully with all of that detail on it um, at the end of this um, at the end of this session. I'm just looking at a couple of other questions coming through. Um, before we get to those, we've also got um, an agent tools section. Um, this is the agent tools login. Write that down, take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. Excuse me. <coughs> and um, this is where we've got some awesome tools such as flyers. Um, you know, if you're ready to start promoting this, whether it be, you know, rentals or tours, in this section, um, it shows uh, multiple represented products for APTMS, but it has those fully customizable flyers where we can add your call to action. And away you go, send them out to your database. We'd love to help you with that. Um, or we'd love to help you customize your own flyers as well. Um, we just have you know, the condition that it does go out to a reasonable size database um, just for the time that we spend doing that. But yeah, love to help you promote for sure. Thank you very much, guys. I'm gonna take some of those questions now. Um, so um, we've got, is the app 60 bucks Aussie or US? That's US. Um, and that, you know, that'll depend on, um, uh, for, for the agents out there, you know, that might, it, it, what you pay in Australian dollars or New Zealand dollars will depend on what uh, markups the wholesalers um, give if you book through a wholesaler. But yeah, if you're booking through Eagle Rider, it'll be 60 bucks. Um, I'm looking at the questions now. They seem to be flowing. One moment, I'll go back. Um, actually, that $60, um, dollar, sorry, the, the app is free with the guided self-driving group tours, I should say. So it's really, um, it's really, you know, for the bike and hotel, for instance, if somebody wants it, um, or, you know, for rentals, et cetera. Um, what's this say? Someone said, can you please go back to the last two slides for contacts and agent logins, please? And someone has did that. That's been asked a few times. I will do that. During the two ride, can you stop whenever you come to a nice photo stop? <laughs> um, yeah, look, you, you can, um, most of the uh, tour guides will allow quite a bit of leeway as long as you're experienced enough to know how to catch up to them, I guess is the quick and easy answer. Um, but most anything that's really beautiful, they're going to stop at anyway. 
you know, it's, it's all about the experience of the ride along the way. I always say to people, you know, touring, when you when you when you're on a bus tour, you wake up in the morning at some ungodly hour that you didn't want to wake up at, and you sit on the bus, and half the time, I mean, I've done it, I fall asleep until we get to the destination. It doesn't happen on the bike. The whole ride is the destination, and then you arrive somewhere, and you're at another awesome destination. So just a totally different experience. All right, I've moved back to um, some of those contact details. If you want to take a screen dump. Um, I'll go to the other one in just a moment. I'm moving across the screen to uh, see any more questions. Um, uh, do, do you have brochures? Yes, we have brochures. Janelle, we can send some to you. Just uh, drop us an email when we send out our contact details and we'll be happy to send you uh, that out. Um, is all the details through this webinar on the website? Hell yeah. Um, yep, Karen, yep. So that's that one, folks. I'll move to the next screen for some more contact information. That's our agent logins that's got various tools. Um, I'm not sure if this presentation is in the agent login, but you know what? I'm going to make sure it goes in there so you've got all this information. Um, uh, and oh, there's a heap of images as well in the agent tools. So thanks, JC. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, you know what? I think the recording of this um, webinar will also be up tomorrow in the agent tools section. If you need to go back over it or if you want to show somebody else, train your staff on it, I'd love that. That'd be awesome. Um, uh, Teresa asked, do you know if we can do a bike refresher course for someone who hasn't ridden a Harley before? Yes, you can. There's a number of places. I, my recommendation is just Google it for your area. There's, there's, there's a number of things you can do. Um, certainly, the the um, there's a number of um, you know bike shops that'll do it, um, but also things like RACQ, NRMA have their own courses. There's you know there's many outlets. Viv, you might be able to help us for Melbourne. I'm not sure. Thank you, Tanya. I really appreciate it. You know what, guys, you've got my contact details. I'll put them up on the screen again. I'm not going to bore everybody else. We had some great attendance to this one. Really appreciate your time. More than happy to answer any questions after this. Pick up the phone and call me if you want. I didn't leave you my mobile number, 0411 416 956. If you just want to call me on my mobile anytime, you've got a client in front of you and you don't know an answer to something, more than happy to help or there is the reservation number right there. Um, if I don't answer, it's probably because I'm with someone, but otherwise, um, you know, I'm happy to talk you through it as well. 0411 416 956. Not everyone gets that number. You're very privileged. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to um, end it now and hopefully we'll hear from you guys again soon. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.